Attorney General assists in major UFO investigation in this episode on the Skinwalker Ranch. Brandon Fugel stated that he and his brother Cameron would be bringing the Attorney General of Utah, Sean Reyes, to the ranch at the opening of this episode. Therefore, everyone was excited to hear his point of view and discuss with their peers the best course of action for the next stage of their investigation. In this episode, their plan was to have Cameron fly two of the team members, Caleb and Eric, above the triangle, stopping at various altitudes between 1,000 and 5,000 feet high in order to drop small weighted balls down through the anomalous zone to determine whether or not their trajectory or velocity is affected in any way by anything that is out of the ordinary. They needed to check to see that the GPS tracker was activated before they could begin and luckily for them, Attorney General assists in this major UFO investigation. During the first and second stages of the experiment, one of the tasks that was given a high level of priority was to gather the data log to GPS position information for the helicopter. After finishing the first set of ball drops over the triangle at a height of approximately 1,000 feet, Cameron ascended to an altitude slightly above 5,000 feet so that Caleb could drop five additional balls to observe what would happen to them as they descended through the anomalous zone. After that, a member of the crew named Eric identified the 1.6 gigahertz signal, but as they reached the mile high zone, they were unsure what to anticipate happening. However, as soon as the member of the team reached that height, the helicopter that they had worked so hard to bring to that altitude was immediately buffeted about by strong wind gusts. As they were getting closer to the mark of 10,000 feet above sea level, they lost the GPS. There are, of course, risks associated with flying in general, but it would be fair to conclude that this attempt to explore this field has been a resounding success. Despite the fact that they were about to receive a vast amount of new data, they were excited to find out what was recorded. It was fortunate that they were conducting their experiment over the triangle two days earlier with high-speed cameras filming it because they were able to record a UAP that was as clear as day right adjacent to the helicopter. There was also a tangible UFO, and the reflection from one side could be seen glinting off of it. All of this was caught on camera, as though it were made of metal or some other substance. That was a solid object as well, and it possessed the same reflecting quality as the chopper that was flying directly above it. They came to the conclusion that using a helicopter for the experiments over the triangular area will be the most effective way to collect data on the path and speed of little weighted balls that are dropped through the anomalous zone. During the experiment, they make sure the GPS tracker is turned on so that they can collect critical position information. Cameron lifts Caleb and Eric into the air and flies them above the triangle, where they drop the balls from varying heights. They take note of the triangle and then release a number of balls. As they climb to greater altitudes, not only do they encounter gusts of wind, but they also pick up a signal that has a frequency of 1.6 gigahertz. Cameron climbs to an altitude of more than 5,000 feet after completing the first round of ball drops so that Caleb can drop a further five balls. However, as they approach greater heights, the helicopter is buffeted by strong gusts of wind which cause it to move in unpredictable ways. They are unable to regain their GPS position and lightning forces them to abandon the mission in order to preserve their safety. They have a conversation with Cameron, who is currently making his way back down to the ground. They consider the initiative to have been successful in spite of the difficulties, and they are looking forward to analyzing the data that was recorded. During the helicopter ride, they discuss the interesting data that was acquired as well as the abnormalities that were detected. They offer video footage that appears to show a clear unidentified aerial phenomenon, UAP, flying beside the chopper and exhibiting some peculiar characteristics. They focus in on the UAP and make observations about its reflecting qualities and the possibility that it has a triangle shape. They express their delight regarding the evidence that was obtained as well as the inquiry that is still ongoing. They are appreciative of the support and interest that Utah Attorney General Sean Reyes has shown in their work. The events of the series take place at Skinwalker Property, a 500-acre property that is said to be the site of paranormal and UFO-related occurrences. The series follows a group of investigators and skeptics as they look into the allegations of these events. The owner of the ranch, Brandon Fugel, 
and an aerospace engineer by the name of Travis S. Taylor are both part of the team. On the episode, the crew investigates alleged paranormal occurrences by utilizing various technology, such as ground-penetrating radar. The UFO videos from the Pentagon are also broadcast quite regularly. On this week's episode, one of the guests is Linda Moulton Howe. The allegations concerning the ranch that were made in the show were criticized by author Jason Colavito as being typical of those who scare themselves silly imagining supernatural encounters there. Colavito described the myth surrounding the ranch as being entirely a modern creation, fabricated in the late 20th century, and he posited that, quite possibly, those watching a network whose average viewer is a white man around 60 years old, like seeing very slightly younger white men pretending to take decisive action and pretending to master supernatural power as a possible explanation. One of the researchers at the UAP, David Mason, invented a brand new piece of technology that is known as the Triple Spectrum Light Wave Transmitter. It is also capable of producing lasers with wavelengths that are invisible to the human eye, such as infrared and ultraviolet. In addition, Reyes made an appearance on the show to investigate a mystery aircraft that the crew speculated might be a chopper used by the military. Because of the importance of Skinwalker Ranch on a national level, he was asked to appear on the show. The group of researchers carried out an experiment in which they dropped weighted balls into the anomalous zone that was located above the property. They analyzed the data collected from the GPS devices to determine the path and speed of the balls. Significant gusts of wind were encountered by the helicopter as it climbed to higher elevations and reached new heights. Because of the problems that the team was having with the GPS tracking, they made the decision to abandon the mission for safety considerations. In spite of the obstacles, the team believes that their inquiry was a complete success. They are interested in the peculiar events that were seen and are looking forward to analyzing the data that was collected. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications for more thrilling discovery content. The group discusses problems with the flight route of the helicopter, as well as peculiar traits that have been spotted in camera footage. They show each other a photograph of a real UFO that was captured in the course of the experiment. The group believes that the snapshot gives irrefutable evidence that they are being observed by another party. They talk about the resources made available by the Attorney General and express interest in carrying out additional study using planes. At the end of the video, several of the other themes associated with Skinwalker Ranch are discussed. These themes include the rocket launch phenomenon and flashing lights. The term skinwalker originates from the folklore of certain Southwest Native American tribes, in which a skinwalker is typically a malicious magic user who is capable of assuming the form of an animal. This term has been adopted. Hicks has compiled the testimonies of those who assert that they have witnessed skinwalkers, which typically take the form of a giant wolf and are occasionally capable of walking upright. Native Americans, whose cultures incorporate such still-living traditions, do not consider these beliefs to be nothing more than scary ghost stories or tales told over the campfire. Traditions that, for understandable reasons, they are frequently unwilling to discuss or provide an explanation of. You will not believe what researchers just found at this strange island. Find out more by clicking on the next video.